let's see what are the good habits that we can learn at school okay here what do you see here there's a little girl with a big smile she's sitting at her desk what is she doing she is writing she's at school and what does her teacher tell her my teacher said right neatly and that's what she's doing she's writing neatly with a big smile is she happy to write yes when you write neatly are you happy yes the teacher said write neatly and when you write neatly and look at your book you feel very happy writing neatly is it a good habit yes who's teaching you the good habit your teacher yes so at school in the class the teacher is telling you the good habit of writing neatly and writing anything with a big smile happy to write you should be happy to write whatever you write and you should be happy to write neatly you should be happy listening to the teacher you are a good girl you are a smart girl a lovely child because you listen to what the teacher said what did the teacher say my teacher said write neatly and be happy let's take another picture and see who's telling us some nice good habits here we are the teacher again you are at school some friends need help some friends need support so the teacher says we must help we must help i must be a helpful child i must be a helpful little girl i must be a help for little boy so in school out of class the teacher is telling us good habit to grow with what is the good habit the teacher wants you to grow here helping hand giving a helping hand to those who need some friends need help some friends need support Let's see what the teacher said here. There is a little girl who needs help, and the little boy is supporting her. The teacher said, "My teacher said, 'Help your friend. Help your friend in what? In whatever. Out of class, in the class, help your friend in whatever way you can." all right the good habit of being a helpful child who teaching you the good habit your teacher who are you helping you are helping your friend where you are helping your friend at school out, out of class or in the class good my teacher said help your friend now go to your new picture and see what other good habits we are learning here we are the teacher the teacher is showing how how to wash your hands what did the teacher say my teacher said wash your hands and the teacher is demonstrating teacher is showing how first wet your hands remove the dust put the soap scrub your hands again wash your hand when washing keep the tap closed don't let water run down and waste the good habit of washing your hands who teaches you teacher mummy tells you but here the teacher also tells you the good habit of keeping your hands clean so that you do not get any illness 
keeping your hands fresh and clean always. So the teacher, my teacher said, wash your hands. When do you wash your hands? You'll wash your hands after play. You'll wash your hands before eating. You'll wash your hands after eating. When else? You'll wash your hands when you come back from school at home. You wash your hands again. Good. The good habit of washing when you come back from school. Washing your hands before and after eating. Washing your hands after play. All this is good habit. And who tells you that? My teacher. My teacher said, wash your hands. Good. Let's go to a new picture and see what are the good habits we are learning. Here we have not only mommy, not only teacher, but dad also tells us good habits so that we grow up to be good children. Here, the little girl has a pet. It can be a pet dog. It can be a pet cat. Who gets you the pet? Daddy. What do you tell daddy? Daddy, I love to have my own pet. A pet dog, a pet cat, a pet bird, a pet fish. You tell daddy. And what does daddy do? Daddy buys you the pet you like. And here you like to have a puppy as your own pet. And what does daddy tell you? My daddy said, love your pet. What is the meaning of love? Means, take care. Mommy takes care of you. Daddy takes care of you. Now here, you are learning to take care of your pet. Love means taking care, giving it food, being kind to your pet. Being nice to your pet. Being gentle with your pet. So, Daddy teaches you the good habit of loving your pet, taking care and being nice to your pet. Love your pet. That's what Daddy says. So, the good habit of my dad said, love your pet. Good. Now, let's go to the next picture and see what are the habits we are learning Good habit, we are learning. Dad and mom, teacher, tells us good habits. Now, if you have grandma at home, there she is also teaching us, telling us good habits to grow with. Let's see what grandma says. My grandma said, pray to God. Here is a little girl with hands folded and the head bowed down. She is there. Her grandma told her, pray to God. When do you pray? You pray to God when you wake up in the morning. You pray to God before you go to sleep. You pray to God before you go to school. You pray to God when you come back from school, you pray to God for your parents. You pray to God for your teachers and so on. You must also pray to God for yourself. Why? Why should you pray to God? You should pray to God to get blessing, for protection. Because God takes care of you. Alright? Now, who teaches you? The good habit of prayer, Grandma. My grandma said, pray to God. Good. Let's look at another picture and see what is the other good habit you are learning. Here, the teacher is teaching you. Teachers take class and she tells you, 
that you have to help your elders, old people. Someone wants to cross, cross the road, you, when you become big or you are daddy, please help that person to cross the road. This is a good habit. When you help your elders, when you help your grandma, your grandpa in the house, your uncle and dad in the house, you are helping elders. You are learning a very good value, very good habit. What did the teacher say? My teacher said, help your elders. When you see your elders, your aunts and uncles, grandpas and grandmas. So good habits are learned in the house. But who told you? Who said that you must help your elders? Your teacher. My teacher said, help your elders. Good. Let's go to the next picture and see what is the next good habit you are learning as a little child. Here we have the little boy is sleeping. Where do you sleep? You sleep in your own bed. Yes? Your own bed, your own pillow, your own little cot. And you are happy. Okay? So, what does mommy tell you in the night? My mom said, go to bed early. Go to bed early. Why should you go to bed early? You should go to bed early because you need to sleep for nine hours. Long time you sleep so that your body get rest, your mind get rest, your brain get rest and you remember all what you learned. So you must go to bed early. What are the reasons that you go to bed early? If you go to bed early, you will wake up early. Early to bed, early to rise. So what did the mommy tell you? My mom said, go to bed early. Only one day? Go to bed early every day. Good. Please subscribe to our channel. And for latest update, click on the bell icon.